Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series figure review. Uh, this time we're looking at the figure that once adorned this box. Oh, this rubbish. It is Great Admiral Thrawn from the new Archive Wave, and the Darth Prime made me open it up on my live stream, so. Knife chopping action. <laughs> I chop knives. You like my knife chopping? I can't show you him in the box, but I'm going to do a comparison review of Thrawn and the original Thrawn that came out because um, this one has some slight updates so uh, let's flip the camera around and have a good look. Alright here we have Grand Admiral Thrawn and this is an update I didn't think I was going to worry about at one point but uh, I'm glad I did now because I love the sort of the paint apps on the new photo reel head sculpt. Well, it's the same head sculpt she's got the photo reel paint apps. Looks absolutely fantastic I love this figure a lot. Um, his outfit is just, you know, it's, you know, iconic. That's probably the best word for it. Um, it looks like they may have made a couple of ever so slight changes. Um, his rank badge now has a silver backing, whereas this one doesn't. But that could have been, this wasn't the single carded throw on this one here. This was from the big uh, deluxe set. So that could have changed um, by the time the single carded version came out. So here we have them side by side. This one still looks good, one on the right, that's the old one. But uh, yeah, this first, this one here on the left, the new archive one is just absolutely phenomenal. No other differences except for what I've mentioned there with the rank badge. The sculpt is the same. Still an absolutely fantastic figure. I really like this one a lot. I just want to get nice and close. There we go. So they've done a great job with the sort of photo reel paint apps. I'd love to know what they used for their source material to sort of get that right, whether it was just a uh, digital rendering that they then were able to transform it further into the uh, painting process, however they do that. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I love it a lot. Blaster pistol is able to fit in his holster. I will demonstrate because I can. So that just sits in there nice and snug. Articulation is the same. Uh, ball hinge in the shoulders, elbows, wrists, uh, torso joint there. Ball hinges in the hips, swivel thighs, double joints in the knees, and ball hinged ankles, and also the ball hinged neck, and ball hinged and uh, ball jointed head. So definitely a nice addition to uh, the updated Rebels figures. Um, I can kind of see why they put this guy out now in the archive line. He was pretty sought after. I didn't realize that he was so sought after, but he did sell through pretty quickly um, in his initial release. And uh, yeah, he's, he's been a popular character for over 20 years now. So <laughs> mid 90s is when he, early 90s is when he was first First conceived in the Heir, Heir to the Empire book series by Timothy Zahn. And uh, yeah, he's been a been a fan favourite ever since. And uh, his revival in the new canon has uh, been fantastic. So, yep, definitely a good one for Hasbro to put out. Let's go with the Rebels. Rebels figures that have all just been updated. So thanks very much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. Um, that would make me very happy. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back soon with some more videos. So until then, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.